Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And today, uh, we watched the finals of Fortnite Championship Series, Chapter 3, Season 1. A lot of amazing plays. At the time, I'm actually recording this. Uh, NA West is not over, uh, so there's still time for NA West to win. The rest of the regions have gone and done already. Uh, you know, I, I hope you got a chance to check some of it out. If not, go back and watch the clips, or go back and watch the video demand on on the from the streams because there was a lot of really good play. So. I only got to watch a couple of matches. I watched the last two matches of NA East today. That's what I watched. And my goodness, there was a lot of high-level play. Uh, just a lot of really good, intense moments in the end game. Uh, you know, the... Again, when, when I... Overall, when I am watching uh, the, the uh, FNCS and just competitive in general, it does make me feel, it does make me miss the OG days of competitive when, you know, the lobbies weren't split as much and the the the, the, the loot pools weren't split as much or weren't split at all <laughs> even, you know? It, it does make me miss those days uh, just because as fun as it is to watch the high level players play at that high of a level, I do, I do feel like it's missing something. Uh, for as exciting as it is to watch how skilled they are, even in the end game, every match, when you get to the end game, they all feel and look the same. You know, there's no insane weapons that are just totally game breaking or totally can change the entire complexion of what the end game looks like. It You know, it just seems like, you know, Every time you get to the end of the match, uh, you know, yeah, there you might get an exciting play where somebody totally pops off and they just like running in and out of the storm, getting eliminations to uh, siphon health back uh, and, and, and make their way through the storm in the builds. And, you know, that is all very exciting, but they're just that extra element that Fortnite used to have in the beginning of competitive where you could have some wild and wacky weapons that would just throw anybody and everybody for a loop and any you know something su surprising could happen at any moment like I said now you have exciting skill being sh shown off at the end but you know it's not like you know it's not there's not the unpredictability. The every time you watch a match right now in the uh, in competitive, when it gets to the end, it feels very predictable on how it's going to play out. Uh, in the way of, well, these are the actions the players are going to take, either trying to hold high ground or just trying to uh, position themselves to own all the pieces in the area so that they can make all the quick edits and. Again, while that's very cool to watch how much skill that all takes and the high level of skill, I just still do miss the unpredictability of some of the wild things uh, that we have seen in the past. That's my thoughts on FNCS. Congratulations to all the winners, even though, you know, as of right now, we don't know who any uh, West uh, winners are, are going to be. But congratulations, everybody, everybody winning big. Uh, money this weekend from FNCS, so uh, good job to everybody who won. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the LTMs, uh, stuff like Boss Fight Grillium, Rockets versus Cars, Giant Ramp, OG Infection, Open Driving World XA. So I tried this today. This was quite fun. Uh, you're just like in, like it says, in a big open world, and you're just driving different. Ve you know, you can get on whatever vehicle you want from the uh, spawn point and uh, just drive around. And they have big uh, speed boost ramps everywhere that you can do big jumps and tricks off of. So that's pretty fun. 
this uh, figure eight jumps race I uh, tried playing today. That uh, was also quite fun. Uh, you know, I, I and after playing this probably for like 20 minutes, I feel like it made me be a lot better uh, driver with the whiplash while boosting uh, just from playing this. Now this uh, frontal crashes, this is another one I see quite regularly being uh, featured. Uh, and I played this one today as well. I had a ton of fun. It, it is very hard. I'll say my five-year-old was having fun until I won the match that he got very uh, upset with me for winning. But it was a very fun uh map so if you don't know if you haven't actually got a chance to play this one yet the way this one works is like it's a big long uh there's only one way each direction you know it's only like a one lane road basically and there's like obstacles in the way there's like little landmines there's um you know like some uh little courses you got to go through to like turn to be able to fit through tight spaces uh there's like something that uh like a little wall that goes from left to right and tries to block you at one point and you're just get, trying to get from one end of the track to the other end and if you make it to the other end then the you switch vehicles and then you got to make it back to the other side again and you got to do this like 10 times and each time you switch uh to a different vehicle and it's actually pretty fun and you know there's it's you racing uh three other people so four people total on this map and you're all just trying to complete all 10 uh laps before somebody else can complete them and, and like i said it's hard to get from one end to the other but a lot of fun so, uh, you know, I got a closer look at some of these LTMs today that uh, we've been mentioning in the past. So that's what I mentioned today. Of course, there's a whole lot more to be discovered in that Discover tab. So go check it out. Uh, if we want to look at some season quests, let's go ahead and look at... Boom, 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 boom. Open produce boxes at Condo Canyon or Sleepy Sound. Again, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you know, and this season... You know, you're going to find tons of uh, produce boxes uh, just in houses, in garages, you know, at, at the gas stations that are at these locations as well. Uh, so you need to, to just open five in total. So just go to those locations and, you know, go into kitchens, in houses, go into garages, go into gas stations, and uh, you're, you're going to find uh, plenty of stuff there to get that to get you through that uh let's go to the item shop now and see what it is we have in the item shop today we have all of the marvel items still here naomi osaka the no way home spider-man stuff the monarchs level up quest pack i got a uh, ton of this done today what let me go look and see what level i am real quick level 141 so i went from level 127 today to level 141 just from doing uh mo mainly just doing those monarch level up uh quests where you're just collecting the token uh the fncs items are still here we got the atlantean fish stick outfit with the titan scale back bling for 1200 the eco outfit with the globy back bling for 1500 the flippin sexy emote for 500 the Icicle Harvesting Tool for 500. The Bim Bam Boom emote for 500. The Face Palm emote for 200. We got the Azuki outfit with the Katana Back Bling and Nyan Claws Harvesting Tool for 1,400. Big fan of this one as well. We have the Chaos Agent outfit with the Ooze Chamber Back Bling for 1,500. The Chaos Scythe Harvesting Tool for 800. The Black Ooze Wrap for 500 The Guff Outfit with the Fluffle Bag Back Bling for 1200 Always been a big fan of this guy. The Guffy Stuffy Back Bling for 400 The Regal Flu Farfsing Tool for 800 We got the Renegade Out or Renegade Emote for 500 
the spark plug outfit with the scrappy back bling for 1200 the kit bash outfit with the trash lid back bling for 1500 the surf witch outfit with the star power back bling for 1200 the star struck axe harvesting tool for 800 that looks like everything today. You can get any and all of these items using code Mikey M M M I K I E in the item shop, and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. All right, that's going to be the episode for today. Make sure you go join the Daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts, leave a five star rating and a written review for a shout out on the show, like we're going to do for a few folks today. One of them saying, Attention, the end of chapter three, season one is ending soon. Hashtag excited for end of season. Same here. And yes, we are getting very close to the end of season now. 13 days away as of this recording can't wait for a new season uh and you know make sure you're getting that battle pass leveled up so that you got it you got everything that you wanted uh another person that uh smashed the keyboard for the username gave the five stars and said what came first what came first the kevin or the cube i love your podcast i listen to it every day although i haven't been listening for very long friend me game master 4162 uh go ahead game master and send me a request it's at mikey games mmm i k i e g a m e s uh we got oh and then what came first kevin that's a good question that's a very good question i mean you know it's that whole chicken or the egg <laughs> question right i really i really couldn't tell you i i don't know uh we got our next one from flake bake flake bake flake bake dake there we go <laughs> it says hi hi i like it can you add me epic gamer zero zero one two no spaces and it might be a capital g Hey, go ahead and add me. Uh, same username as I just said a second ago. Uh, That's exactly why you guys got to send me the request because uh, I can't spend all my time uh, looking else everybody up and then accidentally typing in somebody's name wrong, uh, you know, and then never ever being able to link up so make sure that if you you want to play you got to send me the request and then uh, once you do let me know so that i know to accept it and then hopefully uh we just will be on at the same time at some point and uh we will get a chance to play at some point all right everybody until next time have fun be safe and don't get lost in the storm <laughs>